Hi there, my name's Jason DeWild and I'm the Head of Audio at the Australian Institute of Music and welcome to another how-to lecture. Now this particular one's a little bit different to the previous ones. This particular how-to is how to record an oboe and it actually forms part of my master's project. I'm actually recording an album for that as well. It's called Dead at the Desk and um, so I thought I'd just do a quick video of recording uh, an oboe and to show you how it's done. Um, so we're going to look at uh, some of the techniques, but also we're going to look at some of uh, dealing with the musician, which is a very important element about audio engineering. It's not just about pressing buttons, but it's also about how you deal with the musician who might not have been in the studio very much. So let's take a look. Um, for the oboe, um, I'm using two microphones. I'm going to use the uh, Rode K2 as sort of the main close mic. Um, this one's going to be, it's a valve mic, as, um, and I've been using it lots and lots throughout this project. We're going to be micing up probably about three to four feet away. Um, the other player hasn't arrived just yet, so we're just kind of doing some prep work. So it'll be about three to four feet away. Now, with oboes, the sound doesn't really come from the bell. It actually comes from the, the whole body of the instrument, and it's a lot of clickety-clack kind of sounds too. So this can't be too close. Um, so that's going to be the, the sort of trick there. I am using the K2 in cardioid pattern um, to start off with, but my idea is to get the cardioid pattern really close uh, to, to, make, to get that, that perfectly fine. And then I'm going to use the power supply here, um, which as you can see is set on cardioid. And I'm then going to slowly get Luca to wind in um, a bit more of the room ambience. So um, this is great, it's a great microphone for this because you can wind in as much um, cardioid or omni as you want. And it's a beautiful smooth kind of dial there. So we're going to just get the nice balance between the direct sound and the room sound. The other mic that we've got is a um, KN183 Neumann mic, and I'm just using this as a bit of extra room ambience, um, and we'll just bring that in. Um, it's an Omni mic, so it's picking up from everywhere. So we're now waiting for Liz, the oboe player. Hopefully she'll be here soon. Catch you later. Now audio engineering is not just about pressing the buttons but it's also about working with your musician and part of the crucial part of, uh, of audio is that you're making your uh, musician feel really comfortable when they arrive in the studio. So a lot of it is about even just before you put them in the recording space about just building a rapport. So during this next section of the video watch how I talk to, uh, to the musician and how she talks to me and we're just building some communication there ready for her to perform. Let's have a look. What what happens with an oboe because it's, it's very pretty. You can see one close up. No, I it's very very tiny yeah. aperture at the end. Okay. And yeah. it gets it gets wider as it as it goes down. Ah, okay. So you stick it together like this. Yeah. So it's got a conical bore. So it's a, unlike a clarinet, yeah. which is cylindrical. So this is this is much wider here. Yes. Here here. Yes. So the the reason you need to warm it up, this is grenadilla, this hardwood, mm -hmm. um, is because when you blow warm air into a cold instrument, the yep. water condenses. Ah, of course. And of course, the first place it comes out is these tiny little holes ah. at the top, which are the octave, which are the octave keys. Ah, okay, right, right. So then it doesn't it doesn't play, and it's it's yeah. annoying. Yeah, right. So you always see oboe plays. Warming yeah, up. Sitting, a... sitting there. Like <laughs> oh, we're, all, warm. we're all a bit tragic. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh, come on, come on. So have you been, you've been in the studio in terms of, um, like, in, as part of an orchestra? Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Okay, yeah. Yeah. But not even in the studio. Only done oh, with, you know, yeah. just with mics or some mic. Right. Yeah, through the, yeah. Yeah, as a general overall sort of a thing. Sure, yeah, not, cool. And, and I mean, I've played with, when, they've, when they've had us all mic'd up. Mm -hmm. They might have been recording it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Generally, it's, yeah, but, sometimes. But not, 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 not the same sort of not thing. Not in this kind of context. Because you're, yeah. you're going to do it. It's all going to be one at a time, isn't it? And yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're actually going to be the last instrument on this particular track. So, oh, that's good. Um, so yeah, <laughs> at least so I'm that's not the first. So, yeah, <laughs> not at all. The way, the way that it all kind of works, you'll, you'll be playing in, in that room there. Okay. I've got. I'm going to use two microphones. Right. Yes. Um, I need to. The, the one that's up close. Um, We'll, I'll need a little bit of time to just set that up mm. a little bit better, just to kind of get yeah, it to Yeah, well, we the, can just, yeah, just play it a couple of times. You're going to hear it through headphones. Mm -hmm. um, now, a lot of what a lot of musicians, uh, classical musicians, try and do is that you can either have them both on 
or you can have just one ear on and, okay. and so you can hear your own instrument. Yeah, because that's the trouble, isn't it, when you're blowing? It yeah. is. It's yeah. the same with wearing earplugs and stuff. It's, yeah, it's absolutely. Really so feel free to, to whatever's yeah. comfortable for you. What I can do is obviously I can just adjust the volume on, on your headphones as mm -hmm. much as you, as you need. Yeah. So will I hear like 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 drums all the all the You hear you'll hear exactly what I what you I've sent you. Okay. That, exactly yeah, yeah, that. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. Minus, I, I'll, what I'll do is probably take the melody piano and the melody. Okay. Um, yeah, because that's, what was it? It was just, it's just sounded It's like a French horn sample. It's French horn sample, actually. That's, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So it was, so <laughs> I didn't pick it. No, nah, no, nah, that's right. We're not, they're not that accurate these days, are they? <laughs> so is there been... stuff that goes either side of this or? Yeah, it, it, it's because it's a concept album, all the songs go in oh, a particular order. Yeah. yeah. So, so this, this is sort of a piece in between. Correct. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As one sort of thing fades out, this thing will now come in. Yeah, okay. Um, so it's related to other. It is, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a whole, there's a whole story, I guess, attached to the, to the entire yeah, thing. Okay. So, yeah, okay. Yeah, I just thought, oh. It's yeah, like it's a reprise. Funny, yeah. funny little piece by Yeah, song. yeah, yeah. It, it's it's, yeah. it's a tiny, it's, this, this song, the melody of this actually appears in a much, much larger song. That, hang on. Is that about right? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, whatever feels comfortable for you, it's, it's okay. Yeah. So, I think it's sort of... Is it too, too, um... Is it too low? No, I mean, it's okay. I mean, it should be just on your ear, I can make it a little tight for you. Oh, yeah, it is too high. I think it's, yeah, yeah, it's slipped, I think. Yeah. That's, that's yeah, it's better. better. Thanks. Yeah, it's better. Okay, cool. So, yeah. just play a few notes, hang on. Yeah, that'd be good. Ah! 